this review will cover the case of Christy Morak. She was a teacher at Roarstown Elementary School located in the East Lampeter Township section of Pennsylvania. That's a small community of around 16,000. Her life's ambition was to be a teacher, and tragically she was the victim of a, of a homicide on December 21st, 1992. Uh, law enforcement did everything they could to solve this uh, particular case. They even conducted 1,500 interviews, and they forensically DNA, DNA tested 60 people, but it proved to no avail. Uh, the case just um, could not be solved, and even profiled on a billboard out there in the year 2007. And um, let me get some additional information about this particular case on the screen. One moment, please. Anybody would have ever linked to her murder or suspected it? This story does not begin at a wedding, but during another time of anticipation and excitement, days before Christmas 1992. It's very scary. This is such a quiet neighborhood. Find this is horrible. Christy Morat, seen here in her yearbook photo, grew up in Pennsylvania, in coal country, the middle child of a close-knit family, an older sister to Vince. What was she like as a sister? She was just funny, very talkative, very opinionated. I think she would make her room. And that's a little more information about uh, the case as well as Christy. And as you can see, she had the toothpaste smile. And I'll get some uh, additional information about this case on the screen here. One moment, please. By December of 1992, she was living in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Her one goal and dream is that she always wanted to be a school teacher. And she got that job. Let's go with what we have up here. Teaching sixth grade at Morristown Elementary School, Principal Harry Goodman hired her. There are certain teachers who you can watch in their classroom, and you almost get chills because they have the kids captivated, and she taught with her heart. What would you look at, Emily? She was so cool. And there's some pictures of uh, Christy actually teaching, as well as some additional information about this particular case. And here's some information about the investigation. One moment, please. Who killed her? And why couldn't our parents answer that question? Her friends were extremely fearful. Did you know if it was someone in their circle? Weeks turn into months, months into years. Day by day went by, went by, went by, and nothing. This case went on and on and on. Nobody wanted to give up on that. Just before the 10th anniversary of Christie's murder, there is another. And that's all information about the case, and as well as you can see, uh, law enforcement as well as the community just did not forget about this particular case. Um, 25 years after it took place, uh, they were able to forward the DNA to Parabon Labs in, Re Par Par Parabon La Labs in Reston, Virginia, and from there, they were able to find a distant relative using a genealogical search, and the police were able to locate the perpetrator. Uh, he lived four miles from Christie's residence. And um, let me get a little more information about um, uh, the arrest on the screen here. One moment, please. Police made an arrest in the death of school teacher Christy Mirak 25 years after her murder. Raymond DJ Freeze Row, 49, was arrested on Monday afternoon at his home in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and was charged with criminal homicide. Mirak was 25 years old and a sixth-grade teacher at Rollerstown Elementary School. And that's a little uh, quick information about the arrest, and there's the perpetrator uh, on the screen. He has since pled guilty and um, is serving a, a life in jail. And um, uh, that should do it. Hopefully I got everything in here in a quick capacity. You've heard about this case before. Hopefully it's a quick flashback. If not, hopefully I was able to get up, get enough information there.
to where you could um, uh, get a good uh, review of it. And um, uh, I guess everybody should offer Christy a final salute for her uh, sh short life as well as her efforts and talents as a teacher uh, prior to her untimely uh, passing. And uh, that should do it. Let me get a final screen on here.